Good morning and welcome to another morning devotional at FCC Plano. Today we are in daily feast, feasting on the word year A, and our scripture reading comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23, verses 1 through 12. Hear the word of the Lord. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, The scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. Therefore do whatever they teach you and follow it, but do not do as they do. For they do not practice what they teach. They tie up heavy burdens hard to bear and lay them on the shoulders of others. But they themselves are unwilling to lift a finger to move them. They do all their deeds to be seen by others. And they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. They love to have the place of honor at banquets and the best seats in the synagogues. And to be greeted with respect in the marketplaces and to have people call them rabbi. But you are not to be called rabbi. For you have one teacher and you are all students. And call no one your father on earth, for you have one father, the one in heaven. Nor are you to be called instructors, for you have one instructor, the Messiah. The greatest among you will be your servant. All who exalt themselves will be humbled, and all who humble themselves will be exalted. Our reflection today comes from Tim Beach Verhe. The true measure of faithfulness is found not in the words one speaks or the doctrines one accepts, but in the orientation of one's heart. Is one's whole heart and life oriented toward God, or is it aimed at something less than God? As Augustine's words words intimate, orienting one's whole self toward God entails a radical form of egalitarianism, Though people are unequal by many measures, from intelligence to physical strength, from social standing to material wealth, they are all equal before God. Our response today is this. Place your hand over your heart. Feel it beating. What a wonderful gift. One that works so hard all the time. Yet is rarely appreciated unless there is a problem. Join me in prayer. Thank you for our heart, which beats life into our veins. We offer the heart of our spirit to you, O God. Amen. Thank you, everybody, for joining us for another morning devotional at FCC Plano. I hope that you were able to get something out of today's reading and reflection. Feel free to hit share so you can encourage some of your friends to spend time with God today. See you all next time.